put it out down here in uh, the former Romanian territories. Okay, and again, new agricultural industries. Thank you very, very much. So it's 71 with you, so 68 with you. He's just five, like 25 influence. Like, if I'm reading that correctly, then it would boost this number up by 25. Which would, at least here, I think, get us up to over 90%. So I think we can actually maybe coup Italy somewhat soon as well. I'm bringing Italy into the Warsaw Pact. And I, w I wouldn't mind it. I think having Italy would be quite nice. We'll just get whatever upgrade this is. Okay, let us upgrade the direct fire gun, the direct fire gun to... How's our nuclear storage pot? We have tw uh, 44 intermediate range missiles. I don't think we can strike the United States quite yet, but we could strike other countries if need be. And our GDP is actually decreasing, which is... Unfortunate. And what are we building right now? Construction. Military factories, some of you guys up here. Construction speed, we're at least actually gaining, uh, we're actually better than the base, which is what we, we have not actually been doing that uh, recently. We're going to be done tomorrow. Follow that by building up some chemistry or chemical factories. It's going to cost $100 billion, but so be it. How expensive are you? 40 billion. I mean, right now, there's absolutely no money loss of corruption. That information, it's a, it's a lot. A little fiscal expenditures. I'm assuming this is not working. The fact that if the default risk begins at 3 trillion and we're at 13 trillion. Might not be working as intended right now. Monte we'll tax income. We have no money from tourists yet. Okay, the anti campaigns. Uh, former KMT members, bureaucratic officials who were not official party members, and power members who were corrupt. The antis were anti corruption, anti waste, and anti bureaucracy. That's fine. It does, again, if that's what they want to do, they can, they can do that. I don't think we have any actual... Yeah, we have 8% influence. Getting any amount of influence making China like an actual puppet state is... Uh, not likely to happen. And even then, like, Mongolia is actually not a puppet state of ours. At least not yet. Better for unification. Dissolution of Stalin. I mean, it's, it's maybe been a while since then. But I think you should be directly annexed into the Soviet Union. That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. How much money do you actually make? 0.01 trillion dollars a year? Okay, so you basically are very poor. <laughs> That's okay. We've all been very poor before. But you also need us to finish inter-oblast inter highways. So many of these... um. Which is over here. Which is another two billion dollars. Or two trillion dollars, I should say. All for a hundred political power. You know what? Maybe it's not worth it. You know, let's renounce for selectivization. Happier farmers might give us some more stability, which actually in turn gives us more political power. So we're getting 2.21 per day, which is pretty good. We got a month left to go until we have a man in space. And then, I mean, where's the landers in here? Blue mode rocket. Solid core rocket. I guess 1970, like, like, yeah, we probably don't need it. Probably these three techs would be next. To actually land someone on the moon. 
That at least would be my guess. The ICBM carry capacity. We actually don't have any nuclear power plants yet, uh, either. I'm sure we'll get some soon-ish, but I don't know when that'll exactly be. So there's any way you can maybe, like, sell some, uh, some materials? I don't think so. At least not right now. Subsidized private plots. Be sort of independence from the state. Ramp up tractor production? You know what? That seems like it makes sense. Let's get more tractors in the Soviet Union. The more tractors, the better, I say. But yeah, we're at about, I think, like, less than a month until we can actually get Yugoslavia fully on site, assuming they haven't reduced our influence in our country at all, which they have not, thankfully. They're actually buying American tanks. How dare you? How dare you? You should be buying my tanks. They're much, much, much better. Like a thousand times better. And you guys are still at war. Technically, even though you don't, you like you don't share a border. That's kind of like the problem here. And I'm not even too sure. Like, what's the the war is over? Them take count it. Like, what is it? What is this war? They want, I think, this province and that province for some unknown reason. What I might actually do, um, I'm going to actually transfer this area over to this guy just so there's an actual border. We can transfer that back to the Spanish afterwards. But just pretend this is me ignoring international law and just driving straight through Spanish Sahara to invade our way into Morocco. Does this not actually border here? A man in space! Perhaps one of the most important moments in history of... In the history of Union Soviet Soviet Republic. Malik has announced a successful launch of advanced spacecraft in the orbit. And I'm assuming... Oh, we can actually do this right away. Yeah, send, uh... Let's get some orbiting going on. Please and thank you. Also, we don't need straight transit tool on at the moment. Gonna be more or less okay. Yeah, just drive your way into, uh, to Morocco. I don't they don't have enough supplies right now, but I'm sure that'll, uh, I'm sure that's fine. Mostly because I want to make sure I can actually get these guys back home. Oh, 100 political power off this. There we go. Oh, and I have 500, so we can actually now establish a dependent state in Yugoslavia, which I'm assuming means that Tito is going to get removed. Yes, he is. With Wado Dapsevic. No idea who the hell that is, but welcome, welcome to the Warsaw Pact. Are we actually not going to break through this? Do you not have any supplies up here? 41 out of 6. The answer is actually no. They're not getting supplies. What if we force attack our way up? 400 defense. Yeah, okay, we got a crisis in Lebanon. Not even worry about that. Let's fall back two provinces. We'll let the uh, Moroccan army move their way into our country instead. Should be more or less okay. But after this, we are going to focus our attention, I'm guessing, on... Yeah, 25 would get you up to where you need to be. You're condemning Soviet aggression, but... Eh. It won't really matter once I force you into the faction. So, you know, who's laughing now, you nerd? And, of course, they're not driving very fast because there's, like... Some reason, like, no supplies up here. I mean, I understand this is basically the desert, and there's probably not, like, great place for tanks to be. 
mean, how much supplies do you get here? The 21 out of 35. Okay, well, Seco's been purged. Follow that up with... Water infrastructure. Water commissions. And you can't do this until we have the Soviet conglomerates and 500 political power, which is... Uh, by a little, I mean very expensive. But let's, you know, participate in Euro Atom. Okay, the Republic of India has now been established. Um, you know, about... That's going to be 1947. I'm assuming there's probably, like, no longer a... They're no longer a, um... Watching at 12 a.m. Nice. What's the word I'm looking for? No longer a dominion, I'm assuming, of uh, the British. Apparently, India or Pakistan is actually guaranteed by the United States. At least for the moment. Do our way toward Marrakesh. Man, actually, you maybe can overrun the uh, Moroccan army. Like supplies might be a little, a uh, little scarce, but that's okay. We're at 190. We're, we're going to see if a mutual defense pact does lose up by 25. A five anti-campaign. Anti-bribery, anti-theft, anti-tax, anti-cheating, anti-stealing. What's going on? Basically, we're just playing um, the Soviet Union. Or we're playing Cold War mod. Uh, we're currently the Soviet Union. Malakov's in charge, and we puppeted... A pretty decent chunk. We've got a lot of people who align ourselves in the Warsaw Pact. Uh, we've also formed a Soviet Union version of the European Union. Uh, which most of Europe's actually a part of. Like, you know, Britain didn't like the European Union in real life. But the European Union led by the Soviets? Oh, they're very much uh, in, in favor of that, apparently. Which is a little funny, but I... Uh... Our, our tanks are just not... The most efficient here. That's kind of our problem. Okay, let's get these tanks to go back. I want all the tanks just to go back. Oh, Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. Oh, yeah, so you have 200 power. So if I do the mutual defense, this is actually boosted up by 25. So I went up by two points. Not the 25 that I was kind of hoping for, but we're at least... Uh, Guaranteeing our independence, and I guess all the... We're guaranteeing each other, basically. Our troops out of the country. Freaking Morocco, though. Like, we're trying to help the, the Dominion of... Or the Democratic Federation... Federal Republic of West Africa win a war against Morocco. But it has been going... Uh, the best right now, unfortunately. Improve irrigation. Yeah, let's improve irrigation. I think that seems like it makes sense. Zero out of seven. Like, I just want to make sure this war is over. GDP, you know, it's it's stagnated a little bit, but it's not so bad. Last option, AK-47. What if we just allow the Moroccan army just to like march by our troops here, and then we just drive around them? Yeah, go over there and allow my tanks to do their uh, their good work. We got a Battle of Hayes Pond in South Carolina. I know this tank doesn't really do anything in its current position, but should still be okay. I want you to drive up north. They only had, if I remember correctly, like three to four divisions. Not that many. Yeah, two to four divisions. Like, what's Morocco doing? Both for economic boom. I don't even know where they are in their tree, honestly. 
Oh, he's actually falling backwards. Well, that, that works out well for me. Okay, we're gonna do the irrigation. Follow that up with... Can't do you yet. You need us for to create the Ekron group. I guess we'll intensify electronics production. Yeah, so I'm looking. I think there's probably three Moroccan units. Rush these guys between the uh, the tread of our tanks. What else do we want to get? Again, any more like basic artillery upgrade? What do I need in infantry? Two years ahead of time. Yeah, we'll just go for some defense, I guess. It doesn't need to be anything like super, uh, super, super crazy. And we should, I believe, get some overruns. There we go. And six percent. But if we can take our port, it'll give us some more supplies for our tanks. So the tanks do have some problems, I will admit. Yeah, we should be able to make our way into Morocco. Maybe they'll get joined forcibly into the uh, the, the Federal Republic of West Africa. I'll have to kind of wait and see on that one. The production metals. Take out a loan. We don't need a loan. Economic aid. I could manipulate your politics. Or trade steering. I don't know really what this does. But I've done it. it didn't really seem like give me any extra bonus here. So that was kind of a waste of 100 political power. But, uh, you know. Apparently they also love me. Why do you like me so much? Trade partners guaranteed. They don't like the, the world tension that we generated. But, you know, that's not a big deal. Only a baby would care about something like that. You're going to drive your way towards Casablanca, and then to Rabat, then to Saleh. You're going to go to Marrakesh, and then up to Fez, and then to Oja. That seems completely okay. Rush the Moroccan army while we're in the area. That should basically, I think, be the end of them. They shouldn't have like, that much more going on. Courage civilian use of... Con yeah. Or consumer goods, I think, is completely okay for the Soviet economy. And I would like more supplies. Okay, but not, not actually, you do have decent supplies. I'm assuming any of your penalties now are just probably uh, based on the weather. Okay, desalinization in North Korea. Great Britain has completed a, a nuclear weapon. And we got a new general secretary of the Hungarian Communist Party. So yeah, what I'm basically going to do, I'm just going to put this back into Spanish hands. Yeah, we're getting supply. We're getting, you know, oh, we must have access to France. So this, this is completely okay. Nothing that we need to be, you know, too, too worried about. Well, guaranteed makes no sense for us. Let's start some military subsidization of the uh, Italian military. We have a stupid amount of money. We can easily afford it. Yeah, and you go take these cities as well. Let's see. Anything else in the world, uh... Demolition of the church in uh, Democratic Republic of Greece. I mean, if Greece wants to destroy a church, just let them destroy a church. What's, what's the problem? Yeah, the Chinese government has published a document announcing the official romanization system for the Chinese language called Pinyin. That's okay. 
Again, I don't know if these have any major effects. At least, uh... It might have some effects if we, if we were playing as China, because we're not playing as China. Probably doesn't mean too, too much. We've already done all of this. You are just money sinks that I, I honestly don't think really help us out at all. So I guess we can redirect engineers to the civilian sector. I mean, I'm not really threatened militarily by anybody in the world, so... I'm not super concerned. Okay. This, this is actually the only war happening right now. So, I mean, actually, how close is Morocco to actually capitulating? Casablanca.